What it do, YouTube? We are back again with another video. It's Nick and Yoli. <laughs> All right, today, y'all, uh, I was scrolling on IG and I saw a uh, a page, a meme, I guess, that said, "What are some crazy lesbian stereotypes?" And I figured, what a great video to make. For you guys here on YouTube, because there are so many lesbian stereotypes, crazy ones at that. Um, what you got for me? All right. I think the one of the crazy ones is that our dates last like five days or so. And I I think I've looked at that and been like, come on. Yeah, right. But literally me and Nick's first time meeting was on a five day trip. Yeah. And it was <laughs> <laughs> it was all of That's that. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So and it would have gone longer had we we would have just continued honestly mm -hmm. so because we're long distance we and live out of state obviously um we didn't get to just like meet up regular so we met up out of state and uh it went well <laughs> yeah we literally were like you know if it doesn't go well we'll just like get separate hotel rooms right or whatever. right but um yeah so the stereotype is right you haul lesbians and um the thing is like you see a lot of lesbians in particular but i feel like straight people do it too yes. you know so that's why this is just a, a stereotype that to me i think is crazy because not all lesbians not all of us are like that some of us like to actually take our time and move in with one another um me personally a, a sweet spot to get to know someone is like a good year um especially when you move in with them so like let's say you're dating someone for a year you're finding out things about them you're learning them but when you move in with them, that's a whole different ball game. Like now you're finding out if they fart in their sleep. You're finding out. Bro, I farted in my sleep last night and it woke me up. <laughs> and you, and I looked over and you didn't wake up. And I thought that was wild because you've always wanted to. I It took me a long time to allow gas to come out. Just, I just think it's just like unbecoming. Anyway. <laughs> It's my own <laughs> torture. And Nick's always like, just fart, just let it out. And I'm like, no, bro. But literally, I think I was like halfway asleep, halfway awake. You know, when you're like in the twilight zone, kind of. Yeah. And then like, it, and I was like, oh my God, it like startled me awake. <laughs> Shout out. God. Anyways. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've, I've done the same and woke up out of my sleep. Like what the heck just happened? It was like a, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> dang, like, it was on. a firecracker. <laughs> I had a firecracker. She said her booty cheese clapped, y'all. She said it was a. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Okay. All right. Okay. This, uh, yeah. So what I'm saying is you're going to find out all these things when you move in with one another. And some of us just, I feel like we need to take it more seriously. Not saying that it doesn't work out for some people like it does. Um, I've done it before and it did not work out. I've off, I've also done it kind of U-Haul, but not exactly U-Haul. Like, my last relationship, we met, and she moved to Dallas and got an apartment in Dallas and was always at my place. But she had her own space, like, just in case. So I consider that, like, like somewhere in between. Someone moving across cities or even states to be with you is U-Hauling. <laughs> Just so we're kinda, clear. Just kind of, you know, a little bit something like it because she had her own place. To pack up and leave what you know, that that's a big move. That's a big deal. But what if it's a different apartment? That's fine. She's in your state. Not just your state, but in your city now. <laughs> You're right. Okay, but that happened uh, in like three months, give or take. Mm. And then she had her own place for a year, and then we moved in together officially. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like you hauling is like when y'all meet, maybe it's been a month, maybe two, maybe even three, you know what I'm saying? And now y'all living together. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all signing a lease together. Like to me, it's just you need to take your time with that just because ain't no telling. You're just going to find out everything about them. And now you're stuck living with them. Mm -hmm. Do you have something to say? It looks no, my like, my, no my, it, it looks like you had something to say. I just want to go back to the fact that I think, yes, like you, it sounds like you guys didn't live together mm -hmm. in the first three months, but within the first three months, someone packed up, left their hometown, <laughs> and went to yours. So I'm like, so you're like, you know, you got to get to know them a little bit. I'm like, well, in those three months that they moved there, 
you could have found out that you're like, gosh. And that's, I mean, okay, I'll tattletale on myself. That's happened to me. I met somebody during Pride once. <laughs> I've never told you this. Oh, Lord, let's I met see. somebody during Pride once, and they were so cute. And, you know, we chatted a little bit, and they were like, I've always wanted, they were like from Michigan or Wisconsin or something. Wow, I've never, ever in my they, life heard this story before. Like, Michigan, Wisconsin. I've they never, were from one of those states. Like, I mean, just like, it wasn't Chicago, right? So they were like, I've always wanted to move to Chicago and stuff. And I was like, you should. It's so great. And then we just chat up a little bit. It honestly was probably a month of chatting, if that. And then they were like, like I'm going to move. I'm going to do it. And I was like, great. And then it was one of those where I'm like, well, you can stay in my place until you find somewhere to oh, move to. Oh, Lord. I, I know. And, um... I think they thought that it would end up being this like fairy tale. I feel so bad that it would be this like fairy tale. Like now we live together and now I'm realizing how great everything is and like, don't leave please. But I was very much so like, well, this is my apartment. You can stay here for a little bit until you go. Like you got to go. Yeah. So it, that probably only lasted like a couple weeks. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, Lord. And cause I like my space. Yeah. And um, then I had to like, she was friends with some other friends of mine. Actually, my, one of my DJ friends, I'll tell you. Who. Um, and I had to call my friend and be like, you got to help me with your friend because she can't stay here any longer. Wow. Early See? 20s. Anyways, but the point is that let's not act like somebody moving up out of there. And now she's in my city. So somebody moving up out of their home state and city and then going to yours is very u haul -y. Like, just because you didn't live together right off the bat. Like, now they're in your city. Yeah. It didn't work out. Now they're in your city. Mm -hmm. And that's who dated my friend. Remember you told me about like an exes, like, okay. Yeah. Off topic. <laughs> oh, yo, we're going to another subject if you let us. This is Chatty Kathy, really? Her name's not Yoli. Okay, so the next stereotype to me, it's more like masculine center, but it's all like studs want to be a man. Yeah, it's it's a tired, tired stereotype. I hate it because we just because you're masculine presenting does not mean you want to be a man. Right. Now, if you wanted to, by all means, you have the options to do so nowadays. But not all of us want to be a man. Like, just because we're wearing men's clothing and we're comfortable dressing this way or comfortable embracing our masculinity in public um, doesn't mean that we want to be a man. Like, I'm very happy, thriving, and loving life being a woman. Like, I, I really love that about myself and um just not all of us want to be a man like people people don't understand that though like yeah it's, it's like it doesn't make sense for them so they like dismiss that it's it's just like a tired stereotype like i'm like i don't understand how the clothes then mean that you want to change your entire gender like let's just have a right. little bit more nuanced thought than that right all right so i have another one too it kind of goes along the same lines if you take the strap, are you straight? Wait, what? If you take the strap, are you straight? No. That's one of the stereotypes. Because an actual peen, can you say that on YouTube? Yeah. An actual peen is not the same as a dildo. So, I mean, it's just not. It's just not. It's just not. And then you got to do stuff to it. It's just already. <laughs> you got to do stuff. Ready. <laughs> like, the strap is ready. You got to do nothing to it. Like, it just is, you know? And then. And also, it's I'd just like not to the say same. that the real deal is attached to a male body, okay? Mm -hmm. What we buy in the store is not, and it's attached to your female body. So there's the big difference is that who's strapping you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you have any type of common sense, you know that that is the way to have intercourse. So what we one of the to, ways yeah, to have intercourse, right? One of the ways to have intercourse. So obviously, like that doesn't mean that you're you're straight or gay. It just means that this is how we have sex, bro. <laughs> like mm -hmm. what? The, what? <laughs> Nothing. Why are you just looking at me like that? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, what? <laughs> Say it with your chest. No. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Move on. Uh, all right. What's your What's your next uh, crazy lesbian stereotype? Um. Oh, I mean, this would be a femme one, but like one could be that 
because I don't dress alternative, I guess, and I don't like, like there's like a way to kind of look gay a little bit. So for the femmes who just I like to look, I guess, heteronormative, that we're like not gay enough, um, not like queer enough, not alternative enough. That's a thing that, I mean, yeah, in my younger is. 20s, that was a thing. Yeah. Um, I like cut, you don't look gay. Yeah. So it's like, I almost had to like prove my gayness by having the short hair. I had, remember when Rihanna had the short sides? Yeah. And the like, f- yeah. And the like, or like the Bohawk, side cut. The side. Oh, they were cut. Like yeah. I had this shaved down. <laughs> Me. You did? Yes, girl. You got a picture? I do. I'll oh, pull it up a, for that. We got we to post a picture. And I was a shock girl at the time. But then it was just me overproving my gayness. I also had like, I feel like I like my septum pierce. I actually like the way it looks. But I had that pierce. I had my nose pierce and my lip pierce. I think like piercings, I felt like made me look more. Gay, Just gay, to like flag gay. it out a little bit. And I'm like, I shouldn't have to do all that. Because I like to dress the way I dress. So now, I mean, but also at that same time, I was working at a lesbian bar doing shots and stuff. And like that, like I just, it, it, I was like very out there, out there. So then after that, I just felt like I didn't have to prove my gayness or anything anymore. I'm like, I am the way I am. If you don't know who I, what I like or what I date, then that's on you. Right. But like people who know, know. Like I'm in the lesbian circle. Now I've been on this lesbian show. So I'm like, there's just oh, no, it's a like people now. know that I'm gay. So I'm yeah. like, I feel so much more co- like confident dressing however I want to dress. And I don't really yeah. care. No one says that to me anymore. But um there are certain like alternative circles that I don't feel as embraced in because I'm not dressing as alternative. Like I'm dressing pretty like cis woman. <laughs> right. No, that's that's definitely a thing. I'm so sorry you films have to Which go is so that. silly because it's like you're dressing <laughs> alternatively, as in like you're not dressing like for your gender necessarily and they're like what you want to be a man and i'm dressing for my gender and it's like well you not you're not gay and it's like everyone just calm down no for real like god like now men can wear skirts too and that's a whole thing i like it you know it's Mm -hmm. it's fresh like if you could rock it like don't get it twisted i Mm -hmm. think if i rocked a skirt it wouldn't look that great on me but i might can we'll leave it to yoli to do the test and uh, immediately i was like "Hmm." because i think it'd be cool yeah. yeah like the long pleat you know you've seen the football players with the long pleated yeah. um leather skirt and a hoodie and like a fitted still i think that's a cool look yeah i mean it's fresh if you rock it right you know what i'm right. saying but that's the thing is that clothes excuse me clothes don't identify who you are no period or like, who you like to have sex with like hello. that's just wild crazy stereotype um another stereotype in uh the lesbian community um is going to be that there is a male and a female Oh, that's a good one. Hetero, lesbians following heteronormative, uh, I guess, identities. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. It just Again, because your mask presenting doesn't mean that you have to do all the men things in the relationship. Um, what about stud for stud? There's sometimes two studs together, sometimes two femmes together. Um, at the end of the day, take off the clothes we're women Mm -hmm. you know and I just feel like it's just one of those stereotypes that it has to be we have to take on a male and a female role and that's just not the case that's just back to like heteronormative people like trying to make it make sense for them and also I understand that like Nick dresses masculine I dress more feminine so there's like oh you're the guy and she's a girl but it's like it's just so again like just not nuanced enough and I'm like it I don't know. Think out the box a little bit. No, for real. Um, I have one. Mm-hmm. That lesbians hate men. Uh, not true. So not true. Like, not true. I love my straight guy friends. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're respectful. And, and I've been very lucky also to have great guys in my circle. But, like, love them. Like, that's actually part of the reason why I started Lovers and Friends, uh, my party, because I'm, like, I wanted a space where, like, queer people can feel safe, but I can still hang out with, like, my straight guy friends, my straight uh, women friends, like just everyone can come and like kick it and nothing's weird. Like my straight guy friends are so great. Yeah. I just literally am not attracted to them like that. Right. Like, look, I got my brothers with me all the time. My brother Mogul behind the camera right now. My brother Iggy in the other room right now. Jake working right now. You know what I'm saying? I have straight male friends that I do life with. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And no, we do not hate men, just Mm -hmm. not sleeping with them. You know what I mean? Uh, Sexual preference. But I'm not going to lie. I do use my female privilege and they get on me all the time. 
because they want to walk me to the car and I'm going to let them walk me to the car. They want to open my door. I'm going to let them open the door. Hello. I know how to use my female privilege. <laughs> I'm not letting it go to waste. What do I look like? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't let it go to waste now. But they already know this. We've had this debate. We've had this conversation before. I'm taking full advantage. Shout out to my my homies. Yeah. I love my guy friends and the men in my life. Just don't want to sleep with you. Sorry. Okay. Last one, because I feel like the stereotypes can go on and on and on and on and on. Like Get it. a list. Okay. Women who have had children cannot identify as lesbian now. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. That is touchy. Especially several children. Not kid, children. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, okay, um, I'm going to let you take that one. <laughs> <laughs> so first off, like, I, I feel like you can identify as what you are in that present moment. Mm-hmm. You know, so, okay, for instance, when I was in high school, I dated men, boys, not men, boys uh, my age. Does that make me bisexual? You know what I'm saying? So I I wouldn't date a man in this big age, right? Like I'm not attracted to men. In high school, I was like trying to find myself um, and I didn't identify as lesbian. I just didn't know yet I just didn't know I was gay or anything like that so in that case you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. were you once bisexual because I've slept with a man before does it and now I'm a lesbian you know what I'm saying so I just feel like you have to identify where you're at at the time being so if you had kids then I mean it is what it is I feel like if you identify as lesbian, that's what it is. It's like that's all you're dating right now. But if you're bisexual, for real, you're just bisexual. Like I hate a label. I'll start with that. I hate right. that anybody has to be like, well, I probably was bisexual at this point, and now I, I'm lesbian, and now... And if you go back to men, then do just do it. Right. Do it. Do whatever. And I just literally do not care. I, I just literally don't care. And, right. and the most respectful loving do you as however you want to do whatever kind of way like I just hate the idea of any kind of label for anybody and having to like and having to prove yourself I also feel like those right. women have to like over gay themselves up too and I'm just like don't you don't gotta do shit right like love who you love and that's on that be respected in your relationship be loved in it like feel yourself the most yourself in it and that's more than half these people can do or say they can do so I hate any of the labels. I mean, I cannot stand a label because I think that we're just human attracted to other humans. So much beyond a label. You know, um, it's it's just what it is, you know, and a lot of people are afraid. Like, I hate when people have to come out the closet. Let's say they're a a lesbian and now they're dating men. Mm -hmm. So they feel like they have to come back out the closet. Yeah. Reverse. And be straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or be bisexual like in this life because you only get one you're allowed to change your mind you're allowed to do whatever you see fit for you and fuck a label yeah who cares who you're sleeping with that's your business one of my good friends her first like it was like reverse for her like she only was with women her whole life until mid-20s if not even like late 20s and then like started dating guys and was like, oh my God, I actually think I like guys. (laughs) Like it was like reverse. And now she's married with a kid with her guy, with her husband and like had, and she was like embarrassed kind of not embarrassed, but I think she was kind of like, uh, I'm not gay anymore. You know, it was just, and again, it's not that you're not gay anymore. Like it just, no, because found love in a man. A uh, gay people will give you hell oh, when that. you get back to whatever you were doing before, or you know what. When you're trying to be yourself, like I feel like in our community, we want to be accepted, so we have to do the same for other people. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's so many. I mean, none of my exes are gay. Maybe, maybe two of them have are now with still with a woman. 
the rest of them, they went back to men. And I'm just saying you might have hit the pinnacle, and that's why. But Don't look at me when you say that. <laughs> that is strange. <laughs> no, nah, but for real, like, it's okay to date who you want to date. It's nobody's business. You don't have to make an announcement. Um, and if somebody doesn't accept you for who you are and who you sleep with, which it doesn't matter anyways, then they're just not the people for you. You know, I hate that people have to do that. Period. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. fuck them. Like Bernie Mac said, that's what Mogul said. <laughs> Shoot. That's that on that. But yeah, yo, we could go on and on and on about lesbian, crazy lesbian stereotypes. And I know y'all ain't got time like that. So if y'all want us to do a part two, let us know. <laughs> Drop any crazy ones that you also have heard or that you've been stuck with um, in the comments because I'm sure the list can go on from there. Yes, leave it down in the comments below, please. Hey, before y'all go, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so y'all can stay notified when we upload on our channel. And we'll see y'all in the next video.